In the beginning, it was dark, and then I felt his hands pull me out into the light. I was his birthday gift. In a way, it was my birthday too, since I clicked my very first pictures on that very day. After that, we were inseparable. He took me everywhere and he showed me everything. And I cast the shadows of his vision onto the film housed inside me. Back then, I was a rare thing. Anyone would smile upon seeing a camera. And anyone with a camera was considered to be rich. There is a funny thing about rich photographers though. Most of them got richer by clicking pictures of the poor. Ironic, huh? But what the heck did I care? I just clicked and clicked whenever the shutter button was pressed. And I clicked a lifetime worth of pictures decorating their walls with moments and their albums with memories. Till the times changed. The ducks got older and the ducklings grew faster. And then my time was gone. The time of film was gone. It was the digital age now, so it didn't come as a surprise to me when I was replaced for a newer one and traded off for a position in the rear end of his backpack. I was still lucky to be in his backpack if you ask me. It was tough to compete with these chaps. They came preloaded with features. They worked on SD cards, had LCD screens, autofocus, video recording. He had a studio which was full of pictures taken from his newer cameras. While mine rotted away in a box. I was loaded with film and turned on before every shoot, but never used. I was just a spectator now, not a player. As I watched him work, there was only one thing that I longed for. My one last shot to make my mark on his wall forever. And on one day, when a rare comet was to appear in the sky, I was about to find out that it was going to be the last ever picture that I'd ever take. He was late. He was clumsy. And soon, it was dark again. Yeah, I'd like to get some negatives printed.